everybody, in today's video, I am going to be attempting a Dutch pour. I have tried to use my blow dryer in the past and it has not gone very well. So I actually watched one of Canela's videos um, where she goes through the um, different blow dryers and paint consistencies. So I'm hoping that thinning my paints has worked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find out. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna start off with the colors that I'm using today. And the first one that I've got is from Soho and it is gold. The second one is from Liquitex Basics and it is Prism Violet. And then I've got another one from Soho and that is Prussian Blue. And then I have another one from Artist Loft and it is Quinacridone Magenta and this is the uh, level three um, that I'm using. And then for my white, I'm just using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And I am going to get my gloves on and do a little prep work and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I got my gloves on and I covered my canvas with my white paint and um, I'm working on a 12 by 12 canvas by the way. So all my paints are mixed differently than I normally mix. <laughs> my normal pouring medium has Liquitex, this one does not. Um, I watched a couple videos um, from Canela and from Tammy Anderson and um, I kind of followed their mix which was Floetrol and water only. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead, get started. And I'm gonna start with the blue. Now these paints are definitely thinner than normal for me. So this is something that, um, a technique that I don't do a lot. So it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but that's okay because that's how you learn. And I want to do a Dutch pour, so I got to do it. Just got to do it. All right, and let's see. I'm just going to go. I'm, I don't even really, I'm kind of just winging it here, guys, because um, this is a fun technique. And, oops, kind of dripped out of there. And uh, I want to try it. So hopefully my blow dryer works and hopefully my paints are thin enough. All right, so now I'm going to take the white and I'm going to go around, all the way around, just like that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, can't do that yet. Okay, now I've got a plastic um, stir stick and just kind of go where the white paint is and kind of try to lift it, oh, lift it over the top. There we go. There we go. Oh man, I'm getting this all over me. That was a good one. Okay guys, so I got my blow dryer and hopefully this works. I'm gonna put it on cool and then I'm gonna go on high. So we'll see, all right?
Okay guys, so I do like this painting, but it is not exactly what I was hoping for. It's got some cool detail, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it another try. My white seemed a little resistant, so I've thinned it out a little bit more, and I'm gonna use the same colors, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it another go. And I'm gonna maybe put more, more paint. Maybe that's what, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but. Maybe I have to go back and watch um, <laughs> Canela and Tammy some more because um, they do really, really good ones. I will put um, links in my description to their channels. You can check them guys out. But these paints for me are really, really thin. I'm not used to... It's very, like, watery. <laughs> so... gold okay now I'll put the white around again now I did thin like I said I did thin this one out as well it just seems like a lot of paint on the canvas for me <laughs> all right so just take my stick scoop over top I'm not really good at this scooping part Okay guys, apparently a 15 year old hair dryer doesn't cut it anymore. Now I got a new one and I'm gonna give this one a try. Hopefully third time's the charm. Okay guys, so again, canvas is covered with the white paint. It's super thin, um, new blow dryer. So I'm gonna give it a go.
Hey guys, so that was quite an experience. <laughs> um, started off a little shaky, a little rocky. Um, first one, I still, I love these, but it wasn't exactly what I was, you know, trying to achieve. Um, but I do love all the detail, got some awesome lacing. And the colors just blended really, really pretty. So, you know, of course, I wasn't happy with how it, um, the paint moved because I scraped the canvas. And, you know, you could kind of tell maybe that I was frustrated. Um, so, with the second one, uh, I thinned the paint just to make sure because I still had a feeling that it was the blow dryer. Um, but anyway, I, I thinned the paints and still did not get the results I was looking for. Although I do like the painting, I got some awesome detail like I did in the first one. The colors look amazing. So I'm actually really happy with how they dried. So then, um, quick trip to the store, got a new blow dryer and voila. This is what I was wanting it to look like the paint moved so much better and actually it probably would have been just fine if I would have left the paints from the way that they were with the first one because on high whew, it was crazy so I ended up turning it on low and it still moved the paints really really good so I love the colors I love the detail I think it looks amazing this one dried just as beautiful as the first two and it's all because of this um, it's it was like a $25 uh, blow dryer uh, from Conair. It's small. It's easy to hold on to. So I am super happy um, with my purchase. And as you can see, these really did turn out really good. Like I said, colors are, are just beautiful. And so hopefully you guys can tell that I um, <laughs> persisted and I got it. I, I was so happy once I, um, I got the last one done. And so now I will do some more Dutch pours. So you got to stick around for those. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and share my video. Um, if you know somebody that might be interested, go ahead and share it. And, um, I do really appreciate all of those things. So thank you guys and have a great day.